the line, hold it very carefully, very gently. Planting my baby Cabernet vine in Israel, in the soil. Hopefully it brings us some life. Planting a new vineyard here in Shiloh is so much more than a business. It's a prophecy coming true. And we're so proud to plant a vineyard where our ancestors 2,000 and 3,000 years ago used to plant vines and make wine. This is my little baby Cabernet Sauvignon vine. Not to eat a couple minutes now. We're in Amikai's kitchen. Amikai is preparing for us one of the best meals we'll have while we're here. We're having the Chardonnay now, so ceviche hopefully will go well with that. And because uh, we're in Israel, and I like to use as much as possible the seven species, so I like to use pomegranate juice as well. He just puts the food in front of me and I eat it, it's the Shiloh way. He's a great chef, but he's producing fantastic wine. He's someone I admire immensely as a winemaker, his wine and also what he represents in the industry. And um, to give you a little taste of the wines that we make at Chilo, and, um, and then hopefully we'll fill our stomachs. Hope you built an appetite anyway. You know, up to a few years ago, we said Israeli wines don't age. Israeli wines, 12 to 15 years maximum. How wrong we've proven to be, and you can see it here. I mean, this 2007 Petit Syrah, it's not showing any age at all. Yeah.